Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a perfect glowy summer skin, perfect dewy skin tutorial. I seem to do one of these every single summer because I'll watch the one that I did the summer before and I'm always like, no, I could make it dewier, bronzier, glowier. So that's what I've done for you guys today. And I'm super excited because I got to partner up with Spring to bring you guys this video. Spring is a digital marketplace that combined content and commerce. You guys can shop women's clothing, accessories. Um, you can also shop like a ton of luxury beauty. There's men's stuff, kids stuff, all the way to like home furnishings. The most, one of the most fun parts of filming this tutorial was actually getting to shop the site because there's just so much stuff and everything that I'm using in this tutorial is available at shopspring.com and I also got to curate my own collection so if you guys go to shopspring.com I'll have like a link in the description box you guys can shop all the stuff that I used in this video and then also some of my personal favorites that are available on shopspring which is so exciting I've never had a curated collection before so I love that it was super fun to create for you guys I'm also gonna have a promo code right there for you guys and then I'll also have more information about it in the description box so all that stuff and uh, yeah you guys can also download the ShopSpring app and it's really easy to shop on their app as well not just the website if you want so yeah uh, before we get into this tutorial please make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so the number one thing you guys can do to make sure that your base makeup looks its absolute best is start off with freshly cleansed skin and then go in with a moisturizer so today for moisturizer I'm gonna be using the Estee Lauder revitalizing supreme cream moisturizer and then just really work that into the skin it's super important that you put moisturizer on before you do your makeup just so that makeup isn't settling into any lines and then everything looks as good as it possibly can especially when you want your skin to look nice and glowy you always want to make sure that you're putting moisturizer on and then once you've given your moisturizer a couple moments to really sink into the skin we can go in with primer just going to clip my hair out of the way because we are going for a more dewy glowy look you want to use a primer that's on the hydrating side so I'm going to be using one of my absolute favorites this is the Marc Jacobs coconut primer I love this it's a gorgeous primer that really hydrates the skin and it extends the wear of the makeup so I'm going to do one pump of this and I'm just going to work this all all over the skin this really keeps your skin nice and hydrated and it really just makes makeup glide over the skin super flawlessly I'm gonna be using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to prime my eyelids I think this works really well as an eyeshadow primer just because it is so long-lasting and it dries down to that matte finish so it's nice to put on the eyes for a little bit of added insurance with shadows we're gonna do shadows first just in case we have any fallout and this look is really simple on the eyes just because I want to concentrate more on the glow of the face. So I zoomed you guys in for the eyes. We're going to first go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Betty, which is this to die for bronze. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to be using this all over the eyelid. Start off with less. Start off with less because you don't want to apply too much cream shadow. Um, if you put on too much, it just... There's a lot of product and it doesn't have anywhere to go. So you have to be careful and just apply a little bit at a time. And then we're actually gonna take the pop shade from the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita Quad and you're just gonna pick it up on your finger and pop that right on top of the cream shadow and you guys will see it just gives you an unreal glossy look, almost like you have gloss on your eyes but you don't have to deal with the stickiness of gloss. It looks so incredible and shiny. And once again, take your blending brush and just kind of soften out all those edges. So like I said, the eyes are just gonna be super simple because we're really concentrating on creating that glowy, dewy summer skin. So now we're gonna go in with an illuminator. This is Tom Ford Skin Illuminator in the shade Firelust. This is a gorgeous, warm, golden, peachy illuminator and it's gonna be so flattering on a multitude of skin tones. But the great thing about illuminator is that it's really what's gonna give you that lit from within glow this is gonna peek out behind the foundation and just make you look super ethereal and glowy and amazing so I'm gonna go in with one pump of this and you guys will see that this just has like a gorgeous warm peachiness to it 
and I'm going to apply this all over just like working this all over the entire face even like under the eyes just for some added brightness okay so now for foundation we're gonna be using the new NARS velvet matte foundation stick I wear the shade Barcelona which is medium four and we're also gonna be using the Tarte Maracuja oil now this is going to make the foundation a lot more sheer and a lot more glossy looking but not shiny this is a really lightweight oil that is quickly absorbed into the skin but it's gonna make this a lot more fluid and just blend out on the skin a lot easier so what you're going to do is on the back of your hand apply the foundation just work it into the back of your hand so that you get some product back there just like so you're going to do a couple drops of the maracuja oil and just blend it together using your finger and it's going to be super amazing so once you've got that on the skin on the back of your hand <laughs> you're just going to apply it to the skin now try to only place the foundation where you need coverage because you want this to look lightweight and almost undetectable on the skin so i'm just going to kind of work it in with my finger at first and then i'm going to go in with my beauty blender i'm going to pick up the extra foundation off the back of my hand and press this into the skin i definitely like a little bit more of a sheer coverage if you want a little bit more coverage then you can go in with another layer or two depending on your liking. And I think the best concealer that you can use when you want a really glossy, glowy, dewy look is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now, I am wearing a spray tan, so I'm kind of in between shades, so I'm actually gonna be mixing two different shades together to create a more um, custom color. And then I'm just going to press that right under my eyes, a little bit in a triangular shape, you know, just so you get that like brightened triangle under the eyes. I think that always looks really flattering. And then I'll also take some down the bridge of the nose just for a little bit of a highlight make sure and then i always just make sure to blend everything out and really work it into the skin with the beauty blender another really important tip is when you're getting ready to set the face by the way we're going to be setting the face with the laura mercier loose setting powder um but the tip that i was getting at was only set where you need the powder so for example if you don't need powder all over your entire face then don't put it there I personally find that I really only need powder under the eyes. I'll just take a little bit of this, just tap it under the eye so that mascara doesn't transfer and so that the concealer doesn't crease. Let's finish off the eyeshadow and then we'll do the rest of the face. This is the Laura Mercier Eye Art Caviar Stick in the shade Copper. And I'm going to use this to highlight the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm also going to place this on the lower lash line and blend it out with your finger just to make it a little bit more smudgy. Now to define the eyes, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Longwear Eye Pencil in the shade Mahogany, and we're gonna use this to tight line, as well as work this into the waterline. For blush, I'm going to be using a cream. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Beach Stick in Formentera, and this is ultra pigmented, so what I like to do is really kind of Work it onto the back of your hand first. Just get some product. What you want to do is slowly and lightly start pulling it into the center of your face so that it really gives you that look like you've been flushed from the sun. This is what they do on the Victoria's Secret Angels. That's how I learned that trick because I saw it on a like some makeup artist from the Victoria's Secret Angels was talking about it and I was like, that really works. And to make sure everything stays nice and soft, you can just go in with your beauty blender to kind of soften everything out. To add some definition to the skin with a little bit of contour, we're gonna be using the Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter. Always when you pick up the product, get the excess off on the back of your hand just so you don't have too much pigmentation. We're gonna go under the cheekbone jawline. To bronze the skin, we're going to be using one of my new favorites. This is the Invisible Glow from Bare Minerals in the shade Tan. This bronzer has a lot of reflective properties to it that just make your skin look ultra glowy. So I'm going to be placing this kind of all over. I'm just going to like really... And it's very buildable, so just kind of start off with a light hand. And then you're going to apply it across the bridge of the nose and under the eyes like this. Just because that's where the sun would naturally hit you. To highlight the skin, we're going to be using the Bobbi Brown Bronze Sun cream highlighter and this gives you the most gorgeous gloss of a highlight like you guys can see that it makes you look so glossy and beautiful I always like to put a little bit of highlighter right here because that just makes you look 
extra glossy and I'll just kind of press it on the cupid's bow. I'm gonna press it right on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the chin too. Now I always do mascara after all my powders because otherwise the powders can kind of cling to the mascara and make the lashes look dusty. I'm gonna be using Dior Show mascara in the waterproof version. This stuff is absolutely unreal. It just makes your lashes look legendary. It's so beautiful. And the bottom lashes as well. For lips, I'm going to go in with Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. And, ooh, but uh, it's still usable. So I'm going to line my lips with this. The Charlotte Tilbury Lip Pencils are like amazing and waterproof and they just last so much longer than a lot of other lip pencils. To keep things glowy, I'm going to go in with a lip gloss. And this is Tom Ford's Lip Lacquer in the shade Vinyl. Oh my god, I can't stop dropping stuff. And to finish everything off, one of my favorite products ever, and I just think that this is like the ultimate thing that you can use to really get a glowy, glossy summer look. It's Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist. This gives your skin such a beautiful, luminous pearlescence that's just unreal. There's nothing else like this. It's so amazing. So I'm going to be using this. You gotta shake it up before you spray it though. And one tip that I can give you guys is it can tend to make eye makeup move around. So when you spray the side of your face, make sure to cover your eye makeup. So I'll do my forehead and then my cheeks. All right guys, so this is the finished look. This is all of the products that I use to create the perfect summer glow. I know you love this because I know you guys love dewy skin as much as I do. So if you have any questions, you can always hit me up in the comments down below. I'm gonna have product links, information, everything is gonna be in the description box. Don't forget to download the Shop Spring app, check out shopspring.com and check out my curated collection on the website. I'm so excited. I've never had like a curated collection and I think that's so cool that I have one on the website. So be sure to check that out. Use my promo code. More information will be in the description box, like I said. And uh, if you guys have any questions, come say hi. Come follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. All three will be in the description box down below as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye guys, leave some comments down below letting me know some other videos that you want to see as well. Bye guys, I'll see you in my next video.